Hey everyone, so as I start all my videos, it's been a while. Um, that first year after I had Milo was very rough with me being unhappy with my job, finding a new one, not liking that one, finding a new one, which I'm at now. Very happy, don't plan on leaving. But if you hear anything in the background, it's Milo. He is now two years and three months. He is no longer that little tiny baby in those videos that you saw way back when. And I know a lot of you guys are, well, the subscribers are here from his a uh, coughing video where he was like scared of his dad's cough. He's a big kid now and I am going through my computer right now to find some old funny videos of him to upload. It is something that my husband and I um, want to put out there for our own memory's sake in case something happens to it. At least it's on like a digital platform that we can refer back to. But a lot of things have changed. Um, I am now pregnant. 12 weeks. Um, as of yesterday and so far it's been pretty good. There was only one little scare in the very beginning which I will talk about since this is going to be like my pregnancy update. <laughs> so let's get into it. I am 12 weeks pregnant. I went in for my first appointment around I think it was five or six weeks. It was just the intake where they go over your insurance what you're going to be financially responsible for. I go to adjust my glasses because I can't see. Um, but they do the, like, what you're financially responsible for. And the lady who did my intake noticed that I was very uncomfortable. I was having really bad back pain and really bad um, abdominal pain. Not, like, abdominal, like, my lower pelvis area, but it was, like, my muscle, my ab muscles felt strained, like, up towards my upper ribs. So... She asked me if I was okay, and I said, yeah, this has been going on for, like, two weeks at that point. But it had never gotten, like, so, so painful. He always drops this on himself. But it never got so, so painful where it was unbearable. But this time, of course, while I'm at the doctor, I, it's getting out of control. And I'm like, please hurry. I cannot sit here any longer. I'm in a lot of pain. So she goes, I'm going to go talk to your doctor real quick. I want to make sure that everything's okay. So she disappears for maybe 10 minutes, comes back and says, we need you to go to get an ultrasound. I'm like, crap. Already I know they're thinking it might be an ectopic pregnancy, which my mom had one. I know it's not like you're predisposed to it or anything, but I was somewhat familiar with it because my mom had one before. So I was pretty calm. I was pretty confident that it wasn't an ectopic pregnancy. I go, I get the ultrasound and sure enough, it's not, thank God. But they found a five centimeter cyst. That is not five centimeters, guys, but they found a five centimeter cyst on my right ovary. And the ultrasound tech at first, she didn't tell me. She just went straight to a doctor, but mine had already gone. So no one else wanted to see me. They just said she needs to follow up with her primary or her primary gynecologist or OB. So I come back the next day and well, she comes back into the room and tells me, we found a really large cyst. She seems, like, so, so concerned. And I'm like, ooh, this sounds serious. And mind you, the last time I had a cyst, it was on my left breast. And that was a whole cancer scare that, ugh, it was just a nightmare to deal with. So already, I hear cysts, and I'm like, is it cancer? My mom had pre-uterine cancer, and all. I'm like, please don't be, like, pre-ovarian cancer or something. Or, like, anything of the sort. I just... I don't want to go through that again. It was very emotionally rough. So go in the next day, talk to my my OB, and he says that is a sizable cyst, and I am at risk for surgery now. <laughs> Hi, this is Milo, guys. Look at him. He is so big now. Hi. But he says that I am at a decent risk for needing emergency surgery or surgery at all. He said... If I can make it to 24 weeks, I could, the baby could potentially just pin the cyst where it is and we can handle it afterwards if it doesn't, if it doesn't, he likes to sing, if it doesn't rupture on its own. But there's also a possibility that it ruptures and bleeds internally, which will result in emergency surgery as well, because then you risk going septic. And then there was also the possibility that it twists my ovary, the ovary dies, and you go septic. <laughs> so he was like, 
you have a decent chance of needing surgery, especially emergency surgery, but don't worry as long as you refrain from any activity, like physical activity, you, sh you should be fine. So I couldn't do stairs. That one I didn't even realize I couldn't do it until a second appointment, like a week later. He told me like, yeah, no stairs. I was like, oh my God, not even stairs. So he said, follow it as closely as you can to minimize the risk. If you can't, you know, then so be it. So I did my best and sure enough, within one week, I had one week follow up. Within that one week of following his instructions of no sex, no stairs, no twisting, no reaching, no nothing. Like you, you walk and you lay down. <laughs> That's it. Like I couldn't pick up Milo or anything. Within one week, all of that abdominal strain I was feeling, all of that back pain I was feeling, it was gone. I felt completely normal. So I did another ultrasound and <laughs> God. I thought the ultrasound text said it was down to one centimeter. Apparently she had said it was down one centimeter. So when I went to see my doctor, I was like so excited. I thought I could like resume all my normal activity. And he goes, okay, well it's gone down to four centimeters. It's still pretty big. And I was like, four I thought it was one. So I was still on, I still on restricted activity until 24 weeks when they are fairly certain that the baby will pin it hopefully in the right position. I'm hopeful. I honestly think that it has gone, but they don't want to do another ultrasound of it because I mean, it's not giving me any problems. So why do it? So I am just, that was our only complication so far. Right now the baby is the size of a hacky sack. It looks like an actual baby. We've gotten to see on the ultrasound Friday what what he or she looks like. I thought I saw the gender and I got so excited. But then I asked on some forums and everyone was like, you know what? Actually the boy and the girl look a lot the same around this time. <laughs> <laughs> but so I was just like dang it I thought I saw it and I guess I didn't or I could have seen it wrong so I guess I will just have to wait until 20 weeks to find out the gender but other than that it's been pretty easy I had some very bad morning sickness starting around let's see 12 11 10 9 probably about week 8 I had some really bad morning sickness that <laughs> Didn't happen in the morning, it happened in the evening. As soon as the sun set, I was a disaster. And that lasted for three weeks. So eight, nine, 10, 11, until I was 11 weeks. And in that time frame, other people were having to cook for us. I literally couldn't do it. I would start cooking and I'd end up on the floor in the kitchen because I'd either be lightheaded or like gagging so bad I couldn't finish. And I ended up changing my diet slightly eating more frequently, more like nutrient dense foods. Like, I don't know if it's really nutrient dense, but I added a little bit more sugar to my diet because I noticed when my blood sugar dropped is whenever I would get sick. And that helped a lot. I no longer get super nauseous anymore. The only thing that might trigger me is temperature changes, which is weird. Um, anytime that I go from like a cold to hot environment, vice versa, oh my gosh, it's, my body just like freaks out and it goes crazy but so far it's been a very easy pregnancy it's not too complicated my only complaint though is with this corona and having to wear the mask i noticed it is significantly harder for me to breathe with that mask on i think because my respiration has increased and then i have something in front of my face that is kind of like giving me some resistance to inhaling and exhaling that I'm now in, I'm respiring faster, but I'm not taking in as much as I normally would. So it's making it very hard. And I find myself at work, like <laughs> pulling it down a little bit just so I could breathe. Mind you, I work in like a little corner by myself. There's no one around me. So, and uh, the people around me, they don't mind. I, none of us go out anywhere. We're all pretty like homebodies. So no one's real offended by it and they they're nice enough to let me do it knowing that I'm having trouble breathing because quite frankly I think me passing out would be more of a risk than coronavirus at this point because well 
I pass out easily. So, whoa, no, no, Jesus, it's picking stuff up. So, I am gonna go because he was trying to get into some stuff he shouldn't be getting into. But that is my pregnancy update. Um, I don't know if I will be doing this weekly or every few weeks. It's my second one. It's kind of, you know, we've been through this before. If you want to see the play-by-play -play of what's developing, I guess look at Milo's old videos. But let me see if I can get a picture of my belly. It's. I did notice that I... Oh, shoot. I'm like on the couch right now. I did notice that I popped a lot sooner. Not really popped, but like I got bigger a lot faster. Oh, I cannot, let's see. Kind of, you can see. But I did get bigger a lot faster. Um, I think I started wearing my maternity clothes around five weeks. Baby, be careful, that will fall. Careful. Um, around five weeks, I was already very bloated and I couldn't fit into anything. <laughs> So I ended up caving, I think last week at 11 weeks, I had to buy a whole new leggings. My maternity pants are tight on me. I cannot fit in them. So I bought leggings to get me through the summer because the summers here are brutal, 110 degrees. And I wanted something a little bit more breathable than jeans. And excuse me, sir. A little bit more breathable than jeans and a little bit more comfy. Look at this goodie. This cute, oh my this. God. This, this. So we're gonna have another one of these. Another one of these, another one. But anyway, that is all. And then I will do another update on what my channel will entail from here on out. I do, <laughs> I can say this every time. I do want to do this. I want to upload videos and stuff, but finding the time is a bit challenging for me and it's only going to get harder from here. So look for the next video update of what will be coming up on the ch channel. Um, I know that a lot of you are here for funny baby videos, but <laughs> there's only so much I can catch considering I work full time and I'm not always home. So anyway, that is all. I will see you at my next update, I guess. <laughs>